Yeah, so uh, like you said, uh, on the side, I uh, do some travel agent work, so I can tell you all kinds of trivia about places in the, in the U.S. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm fine just working, being a knowledge engineer for life, right? Uh, but, so I'm on the knowledge management team. I've been with LifeRay for three years, and uh, I really thoroughly enjoy it. And, uh, and I'm still enjoying it, of course. Uh, so, a little bit about uh, myself. So I lead a team of uh, knowledge engineers, knowledge management uh, team members in Raleigh, North Carolina. So we have a branch down there of knowledge engineers. We also have knowledge engineers in New Jersey, uh, up near Philadelphia. Uh, but So like uh, Abdin said, I do know a little bit about geography. And I know where I live. So here is, um, I'll back up a couple of slides. So this is where I'm from, is North Carolina. Uh, Washington, D.C. is right up about here. And then here is where North Carolina is, uh, in the mid-Atlantic region. It's known for its beaches. Uh, it's Smoky Mountains, which of course are bursting with color this time of year, just as with here in Germany. Also, if you're a, uh, let's see, I'm getting ahead of myself. If you're a fan of, of basketball, we have lots of college rivalries between uh, the basketball teams. And uh, if you, jump around here. If you're into cigarettes, um, North Carolina is in the tobacco belt. Cigarettes. <laughs> um, but you know, some things I'm learning my way around Europe. This is my first time here in Europe, first time in Germany. So I really delighted in the, the beer last night at the brewery. Some of you attended that. And I know what, what else Germany is uh, is known for is that is that wonderful World Cup victory out there. It's okay, you can clap. <laughs> Proud of that. That was a fantastic uh, performance, especially that that last game. Uh, so that's a little bit about myself and what I'm learning about Germany. Now, as far as the uh, as far as knowledge management, uh, I can summarize it in three steps: we gather information uh, from the web and from our core engineers. We transform that information into you know mediums that uh, mostly you know, written documentation, HTML you read uh, images and, and such, and then we share that with you. So, simple enough. Uh, but I have this fantasy. Uh, maybe, maybe you all have seen the movie The Matrix. Any hands go up here? Sure. Classic, classic science fiction movie. Well, um, I have this fantasy about knowledge transfer that I got straight out of The Matrix. Um, if you're not familiar with the movie, the main character, Neo, finds himself in a digitally hostile world, and he needs a little bit of help uh, to learn a few things, learn how to defend himself. That's what he needs to learn. And he has some help from this guy here. Is, the character's name is Tank, a new friend of his. And he finds the perfect program for him. So he goes and gathers that knowledge. Then in step two, uh, the lovely uh, Trinity here, who's a cautious new friend of Neo's, uh, she, you know, leads him back and hooks him up, connects him with that knowledge, okay? Uh, now, in his case, he lays back in his, his chair, relaxes, and then gets a cable stuck to the back of his head, you know, so he gets plugged right into the data, literally. And then they start the download. And uh, you can see it happens really fast, so us developers were really always excited about you know, fast downloads. He looks like he's in a little bit of discomfort here. It's either that or maybe he had uh, too strong of a cup of coffee and it's a bad caffeine rush. So that's how he downloads that information. And then, voila, he's an instant expert. So you can see where I'm going with this. If we can only transfer that knowledge, get it to you, and poof. You're an instant expert. He's an instant expert in Kung Fu. He says, I know Kung Fu. And uh, think about this, you know, if you, the faster you learn things as a developer, the faster you learn how to program or make this app or uh, make this wonderful UI, you can start to impress your friends. And, and that was the same thing with Neo up uh, uh, here. You can see he's uh, running off walls and uh, jumping over uh, his friend Morpheus. So, you could probably do similar things as you pick up new things about life, right? 
So uh, anyway, thanks for indulging in my uh, fantasy about knowledge, uh, ideal knowledge transfer. But uh, we're here to talk about knowledge transfer of life right information. <clears throat> so uh, how many of you have read life right's documentation? Okay, okay. And how did you, how did you hear, well, what, uh, which documentation did you Okay, properties. Okay, so with the properties, you maybe you went to docs.liferay.com and saw the, uh, okay, yeah, you see create configuration files. Uh, what about some other places where you've gotten documentation? Where else? Okay, you know, maybe. So anyway, if, if there are some people that I've talked with that are wondering, where is the library documentation? They don't know how to find it. Okay, so. Uh, in case you haven't found Liferay's current documentation on Liferay.com, here's how you get to it. It's a little two-step process. You go to Developers and Documentation. So that's on Liferay.com, which has you know, everything from business strategies and uh, you know, new events and trainings. But um, <clears throat> when you do click on that, you're brought here. Okay, so here is the documentation page on liferay.com. I'm going to be talking about Liferay Developer Network in a few minutes. But you'll notice uh, what we've had here for the past couple of years, um, we have kind of a link-filled experience. Uh, it's written mostly like a book, so you see that uh, it's like a table of contents, and number of links. Uh, we have the user's guide, the developer's guide, and we also have social office documentation. And uh, just to let you know, so the, the amount of information that's in like the 6.1 guide and the 6.2 guide. The 6.1 guide, they put it into a printed form uh, format and it was about 700 pages long. Everything from installing Liferay to using all of its features, its content management features. So there's a lot of information in there. Um, and then also the under the development tab uh, is where our developer's guide is, which you all I hope you have read bits and pieces of. And that also has comprehensive information. But one of the issues, there's a few issues that we were seeing here on lifefree.com. One thing was that it was kind of crowded. On the left-hand side, you had uh, advertisements and, and different things that weren't really related to the article that you were looking at. And like I said, it's a link-filled experience, very texty, so you're not really seeing much you know, visually there that's in the article. Um, and then, like we mentioned before, is um, finding the documentation. It just kind of seems hidden inside of liferay.com among all the other wonderful things there. So this year, <clears throat> we set out for a different experience. And uh, two goals that we had was one that is that we wanted to increase the number of people getting to the documentation and benefiting from it. And then two, we want to continue to provide more and more documentation. Also of our cutting edge stuff, so even 7.0 information, we want a vehicle to get that information to you quickly, uh, official documentation. And we want to build it collaborative, collaboratively with you and our core engineers. How are we going to do that? We decided to come up with a whole separate site just for that called the Developer Network that's aimed at, that focuses on users, developers, you all out here in the community. And you can type it in, it's dev.liferay.com if you haven't visited it yet, dev.liferay.com. Okay, and I'm gonna give you a tour of dev.liferay.com, Liferay's new developer network. dev.liferay.com. I'm going to visit it. Uh, I'm going to sign out here so that you see what it looks like even just as a guest user. <laughs> he wants to keep me in there. Okay. 
All right. So when you arrive at dev.liferay.com, here you see our you know, wonderful new interface that's dedicated to getting you the information you need as quickly as possible, make it easy to find. Prominently placed here is the search, and uh, <clears throat> because we want you to be able to look up the topics that you're looking for as quickly as possible. So we have that prominently placed on the home page and on every page. So if I type in cluster, Elasticsearch brings up the results instantaneously, and you can go directly to that article, as you would expect. Okay, so it takes you right there. And what's also good, too, is that, uh, <clears throat> is that this, our search mechanism here will list We'll list the official, official documentation articles first. So we'll rank them highest so that you don't get convoluted with uh, forums or blogs that uh, you know, it might be secondary. So we're all gonna, always going to put the official documents first. Uh, and I'll talk more about the blogs and about uh, the forums uh, shortly. Okay, so that's, that's the search that's here on the home page. Then you'll notice the four icons we have. We've used these to categorize, to categorize the information that we have. Uh, the first one here, the compass, shows discover. And that's going to have all your non-developer documentation, your uh, user materials, your uh, web content management information. Uh, think about you know, really like your user's guides. But also in there is, uh, is going to be deployment information your sysadmins to use as well for uh, configuring life to work. Okay, um, and I'm gonna, I will dive deeper into it. I'm going to skim over all four of them quickly before diving deeper. Uh, then we have develop, which is the heart of the site where you'll find the most information right now. And it has <coughs> our developer uh, information on building apps. Uh, distribute, you can imagine that has to do with getting your apps up on, market, uh, on the marketplace and then participate, which is gonna be the new home for community information. It's gonna be the interactive part of the site. So let's plunge here into Discover. Uh, so you see lots more space here for the articles. Here's just the introduction article for the uh, document. But as you dive deeper into these, and you'll see that there's uh, you know, the nice graphics, and, um, and you can see 6.2 presented nicely here. So a lot more space. Um, also, you, you, know, you have search in here as well for finding what you need. So voila, you have that at your disposal. Another thing to point out is Depending on what, what version of LifeRay you're using, you can switch to it. So you can switch to 6.1 and see, you know, you'll notice these are the 6.1 screenshots. So we have it all here at your fingertips. Uh, the other two things that I'll mention are, okay, so we have Portal, which is our current, like, user's information, and then the user information for social office, and deployment. So we've broken out all of the installation materials uh, using cloud services, advanced portal operations, clustering. We have that all in one spot, easier for you to find as a system administrator. I'm going to jump back out into the uh, home page. But notice up here at the top, you have the same four categories. It makes sense to have them up in the navigation for you. Okay, so we click on develop, and we're faced with some more options here, uh, noted by these different icons. So one of the challenges that we had was thinking about your different needs as a developer, and where you're coming at with your background with LifeRay or about particular features of LifeRay. First, we have learning paths. Well, we thought <clears throat> some, some uh, developers are coming new to LifeRay, and, and want 
to learn life right from the ground up, learn the best practices, and uh, want to learn in a step-by-step -step fashion. Um, and so that's one way, one thing we wanted to address. The other one was, um, you're an experienced life right developer, you're working on a project, and you need to find out this one bit of information or this one framework and dig deeper into that. And that's where we provide tutorials. And instead of going sequentially, we've provide, we wanted to provide uh, topics, you know, topical searching mechanisms in there. And then the thirdly, of course, you're always going to want to look up your APIs, your tag libs, so we have a reference section. So let's dive deeper into all three of those. In learning paths, we start right out with setting up your development environment and in IDE or inside of uh, Studio. Um, and we also, um, and don't worry, we still mention the plugins SDK and how to do things from the command line. Uh, but then we take you right into building your first app. And we create together with you a, uh, a small guestbook application for the, to put on, the, on your site. But then we walk you through the fundamentals of writing a data-driven application, setting permissions, all these important fundamental things that you want really in any app that you're building. Making a control panel portlet for your app, search, indexing, custom entities, uh, using Alloy to uh, beef up your user interface. So we have that in learning paths. Then, if you switch over to tutorials, here you'll see that everything is listed topically. Uh, plugins SDK, Maven, and this is going to continue to grow as well and be a comprehensive place for you to look up all of LifeRay's frameworks and how to use them and technologies. So you'll see here plugins SDK, Maven, ADTs, um, also open social, plugin security, you know, you have to create a packle for your, uh, for your app. So we have all that information here, and that's listed topically. Um, and I'll also dive into one of these so that you can see uh, some code examples too. Let's see, important development. Okay, we go in there and look at configuring important preferences. So, you know, you see the code looks very nice here as well. And these are smaller articles, smaller articles that are focused on the topic that you want to dig deeper into. Third thing in develop, we have reference. <clears throat> and in reference, we have, uh, you know, our Java APIs, tag libs, CSS. So we have those things there. They're currently, they currently take you to docs.lifery.com, which is outside of the site, but we're going to be bringing the Java docs in and bringing the tablet documentations into the site so that they'll be searchable as well. So that will help you out. Jumping back out here to the home page. Like I said, distribute is where you can learn more about uh, distributing your app, getting it ready for the marketplace. We have that there. And then participate is your new community central. This is going to be going through a lot of changes. Uh, James Faulkner, this is kind of like his area that he owns and it's going to make it fantastic for you. Uh, but you can see there's lots of ways, of course, that you can continue to contribute and we'll make it fun for you as well. Um, and we added a life rate media which is an encyclopedia for all terms life read. Okay, so, um, you know, everything from theme display to, you know, what is life read to open source. And here we'll be looking for contributions from you as well to help just, you know, keep fleshing out these, these terms and building, and building off of them. Uh, James has lots of ideas and uh, places for you to give feedback features and uh, development features that you want to see. And then we have uh, feedback forums here as well. Now, um, I'm going to log in finally. And this is a, it's single sign-on. 
So whenever, even if you log into liferay.com, you'll be logged into dev.liferay.com. So I'm logging in here. Now wherever you are on dev.liferay.com, you'll notice down here you have a feedback button. So no matter you know, what page you go on to or what article you go into, You'll, uh, you'll see this feedback button, and that's where we can get valuable feedback from you. If you see a bug, if you want to make a suggestion, or make a comment. Then on individual articles, you know, you've been reading this one article, and you want to make a suggestion, or you really like it, and want to give it the thumbs up, you can go down here at the bottom, you can vote for that article, and you can give a uh, suggestion for it. Another way that you can contribute is, um, we you know, figure out all the different ways. If you wanted to edit this article and uh, add more information or do a bug fix, you click the Edit on GitHub button, it takes you directly to where our source code is, uh, our source documentation is in, dev doc, in uh, LifeRay uh, docs on GitHub, and you can edit that and write Markdown and, you know, submit your fix and send us, you know, a pull request. So you can do that just like you do with developing any feature. To go along with the different categories that we have of documentation, discover and develop, inside of Liferay Docs, we've created, <clears throat> we've created folders for you to add entire documents to, entire articles. So you notice we have learning paths, tutorials. Well, we have a new articles folder, and in there, if you have an article and you have images that you want to include, click the plus button, write your articles in there, add your files, and send them to us in a pull request, and we'd be happy to uh, edit them, polish them up, and maintain them for you. Which brings up a very important point, too, is what's happening with the wiki pages that are currently on LifeRay.com? Well, we've seen a lot of confusion where you go to a wiki page and that information is no longer maintained. And, well, it's because it's, they've never been actively maintained by LifeRay employees, and we want to make sure that all the information that you get, uh, that it's not, that, that it is maintained. So we want to get that, that information into official documents. So if you have uh, wiki pages that you have up to date and want to submit them into the official documents, um, send us a pull request for that. All right, so I'm going to jump out of the tour here and uh, just bring up a few more slides. So we're back from the tour. Um, this, this is my favorite way to read dev.library.com is on my tablet. So it, it was built, of course, to be on all mobile devices. So it displays very well on your tablet, and you can even display it on your smartphone, too. So we've, of course, built it to be mobile, mobile-ready. Okay, here's where you get out your pen or you type this into your contacts or into your Twitter right now is uh, make sure to follow us on at Liferay Docs because we'll be posting um, every time we have a new article or James has a new happening that he's added to the community page, we're going to advertise that on Twitter. So lastly, kind of in closing things out, um, you know, we've designed this for you. So as you have suggestions, please let us know how we can make it better, and we're looking forward to your contributions as well to uh, dev.liferay.com and the whole Liferay developer experience. And lastly, to tie in with, uh, <clears throat> with the beginning of the presentation, so after digesting the information that you, you know, gain from dev.liferay.com, we hope that you'll be able to say, I know Liferay, <laughs> just like Neo here, and you can be an expert. Thank you, you've been a uh, terrific